Hi, this is Josh from Sweet Tree Productions. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about the different masters you can make in Titan and uh, what all they might do for you. So, when you press record on your console, you'll see on your Titan 1 program, on your Titan program in general, you can see this button called Create Master. When you click on it, you get some different kinds of masters. You can see we've created a few just in our uh, in our other times that we've uh, we've talked to you guys but uh, this is just kind of an overview of all you can do with these guys so what we're gonna do we're gonna start with intensity masters so you can see we've got a few different masters here this grand master we don't mess with a whole lot because it tends to get us in trouble and uh, actually won't be enabled unless you go in your user settings and enable it but if it is useful for you we'll go ahead and walk you through enabling it so when you go in if you open user settings and go to handles you can see there's an enabled and disabled symbol for your grandmaster fader here uh, if you want it to actually work for your fixtures you'll have to enable it but if you don't want it like we don't usually it automatically comes as disabled and you can see the current user is operator, which is the stock one that Titan sends along with every uh, every show file. For for this, I'm gonna change to myself just to avoid some problems later. So, again, like I said, we don't really use the Grandmaster, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. But it is there if you want it to. The Flashmaster, what it's gonna do? going to click it you can record it <clears throat> anywhere and all that's going to do is when you press flash on your console or on your on your titan uh titan one all you're going to do is when you bring up that flash master to something below 100 it's only going to flash whatever you have when you're pressing flash to 50 percent of its total value so if you if you flash a uh, a blinder that you have set a group a group master for your blinders say uh say these generic pars is our is our blinders it's only going to flash it when i press flash either there or that gray button on the console it's only going to flash it to 50 percent we'll see if we can make it show it it's not but if you did have some there, it's not showing it. it. It will actually flash your masters only to 50%. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to go back into intensity. And you can see swap masters. And it essentially does the same thing. If you have, uh, if you have something that you press swap on, if I press my blue button on this, on this one here, it'll swap it to to 100% unless I turn that down it only swap it to 32% which is what it has now and that's just kinda how that works it uh... we've gone through and kind of explained flash and swap on on our buttons video you can you can watch that if you have any questions on that we're gonna skip preset master we're gonna go to playback master and uh... I've saved it here. My, my program is being a little slow. Just just today, I've done a lot on it. Today, so if I set any playback, uh, any playback master to 50%, what it's going to do is these are playbacks here. Uh, any any if you open your playbacks window and you have something saved there, it's only going to let your playback go to 50%, and uh, it'll show a hundred but it's only really going to 50 percent. We'll see if we can sh show that here. It's not showing it here, but 
it is only going to 50% on our on our Maverick that we have in the room. And that's what that does. So that's kind of your intensity masters. You can you can play around with them and see how you like them, what you want to do. Again, there's other ways to do masters that we've showed you in other videos. You can change groups to to a fader to put them on a master. You can record intensity to a cue and put it on a ma make it a master. You can do that if you if you feel necessary. You've got two different kinds of speed masters. That's a uh, rate and BPM. They work similarly. We'll save our rate master here. We'll go ahead and at the same time we'll get a size master just so you can see see the two. I'm sorry. BPM master. We'll walk into walk into size masters in a minute. There we go. Move that over there. And you can see they're a little different. You uh your rate master is kind of based on a on a scale type deal that it, that Titan is putting into itself. If you uh if you save a sp some kind of shape to it, it'll kind of mul uh do the math for you on faster or slower based on based on that shape speed or you can save it to a BPM master and control the actual BPM yourself on uh, and you can sit there and do that you can also tap the tempo with your blue button your swap button you, you can see I'm just tapping around and it's changing it as I go every other click kinda guessing about how fast I'm going with my finger that's one way you can do it. You can change these around a little bit. You can change the scales of them. We'll go to the go to the rate master so you can see that. You can see you can lock it to different pages if you want to. You can do a transparent lock or leave it unlocked. And all that does is if I change pages, that rate master will go up go on up with it to whatever page I want it to be on. We're gonna leave it unlocked for now. Uh, you can change the scale that it does all the way up to a thousand percent if you if you feel is necessary and you can see it goes all the way up to a thousand percent and uh, kinda does the does the math for you of how fast that needs to be if we change over to our BPM master you can see you get a few more options um, you can change you can change your BPM manually here so if I want to change it to 60 BPM you can see my master goes back down to 60 BPM you can see you can change it change your scale kind of similarly to the rate master all the way up to 600 BPM you can also change your speed multiplier kind of to what it does every uh, every every beat it may do if you have a circle and you're going you're at 60 BPM every beat you'll get two circles out of it is essentially what it's doing there you can change the scale of your multiplier if you want to do that and you can also change whether the multiplier is on the fader so you can change you can see if I change the scale of that I can get all the way down to a 30 second of a beat all the way up to 32 times in a single beat and you can also choose to reset the multiplier on tap tempo so if I if I set my BPM to get it kinda to something if I set it 202 and I change the change the BPM multiplier to whatever when I press tap tempo which right now we're in playback option so it's not going to let me when I press tap tempo a few times it'll reset the BPM master there so that's a little bit on speed masters and what all you can do with them 
we're going to get into size masters and size masters essentially you can you can save a shape to to a size master and what it'll do is it'll go to 100% of that shapes value so if you're doing a circle and I'll kind of show you it'll be a little bit easier if I create a circle with the pixels you can see I saved it's, uh, the stock size is 20% and it's just moving around about 20% of what the what the pixels can do what it's going to do on your size master is it's going to take 100% of the size that you saved so if I change it to 50% on the size. We're going to slow it down just so our pixels aren't having to work too hard. There we go. They're moving at 50% of their total movement. And if you save a size master to that, we'll save that shape somewhere. We'll save it here. Clear out. You can see when you open playback options here, we've done this on another video, you can go into your speed source and your size source. If I choose to put my speed source on rate one master and my size source on size one, size master one, and I bring that up I'm going to slow it down a little bit. The rate master at 100% is going 5 BPM. And the size is only going to that 50% that we talked about earlier. And you can bring that down to where it's only going 25% of 50% to the point of where at 200% it's doing basically all the pixels can do at that point. So that's a little bit on those. We'll go back into record. We'll go back into our masters. A pixel mapper master we've talked a little bit about on our on our pixel mapper video. Uh, but again if you want to throw a pixel mapper master down for your layers you can select if you put your pixel mapper effect on a layer this is kinda how you mess with what all that effect is doing and it is it acts as kind of a master for the effect as well just kinda based on what you're doing with it you can look at our pixel mapper video for a full in detail on that we go into it a lot more in detail there the scene master is kind of cool And essentially what you can do with it, we'll get out of that. You can see I've got enter and exit and commit down here. What that does is if I press it and I go into, I'm going to delete a few things so I can keep up with what I'm doing here. If I press enter exit on it, on, uh, on my console, my blue swap button, you can see I go into preset mode and what we can do with that we can anything we can change some things around if I want to change my position of my Maverick and change the color what it'll do is as you bring that fader up it'll fade into that position that color that that gobo beam option that you've chosen and all it kind of does is it it works as kind of a manual crossfader for that. So if I bring my, as long as I'm in this preset mode, if I bring my masters of my Maverick down to 50%, and I bring my zoom all the way in, and I change the position to some other random position, and give myself some different colors going on, none of that will happen until I mess with this scene master and really make it do what I want it to do. There's a few different options for it. We'll see if we can click on it just to get it 
it's uh it's some different options you can see we've still got our different handle paging options the fader action is essentially what what the fader does as it as it goes through you can manual commit we'll kind of make this a little bit smaller kind of put it over our macros here manual commit and it will if I press some different options here it'll manual commit at each of that and it can fade back into two different looks that I have going on this auto commit it will auto commit whatever you have going on and when I say commit that means it it once you get to that 100% option it will fade into in full what effect you've chosen and bringing it back down does nothing you can at that point set up another effect another look I uh, will go into this this thing again and once I get to that hundred percent mark it's fully committed to that effect that look whatever you'd like to call it and it doesn't do anything on the way back down but auto commit invert and invert is kind of what it comes as once you record it which just means that that uh, once you get to the top with your fader it essentially becomes another you can just manually crossfade it back into another effect and you can see kind of on the screen that it's doing that no matter which way I go and just kind of fades back and forth between those two if you get if you're setting up a look and you're like alright I, I like this I'm gonna go into this and what do we have right there those two and you get 50 percent and the what you need to happen happens a little bit quicker than you thought it would in your show these, these are really good for live shows is what I use them for most so you can see on my uh, on my masters down here I'm a little bit lower than I actually am I'm a little bit less zoomed than I actually am that kind of thing uh, my Pixis isn't quite in position of where I wanted it to if I need it to instantly go to whatever I've decided that effect is if I press my gray button on my console it'll instantly go to it and that scene master hasn't isn't gonna do anything else whichever direction you go so a cool option if you if you do like we do and you do a lot of live stuff and uh, have to have to kind of program on the fly don't quite have a a set show a recent discovery for us and a, and a pretty cool one at that so that's a little bit on masters and uh, you can call us if you need anything be sure to watch our other videos and uh, learn some more we're going into into detail on some cool stuff that Titan can do thanks and uh, give us a call if we can do anything else for you <laughs>